Hi there guys, uh, today you'll see a little bit of descriptive geometry in front of you. It's um, a whole lot of lines, looks like a whole lot of work, and might be confusing, but we're going to work through it methodically. And um, so what I've done is I've uh, based, basically broken them down into the different quarters. Uh, we've got one, two, three, and four, and we're going to be focusing on quarter number one for a moment. Um, what I want you guys to understand when it comes to descriptive geometry is the fact that we are working with OX, OY and OZ coordinates. Uh, these come from the axes, so we will notice that in orthographic projection you have an X, Y, X1, Y1 axis. Now you have from the center O, maybe a point of origin, um, OX, OY, OZ and OZ. If you look at a 3D printer, they use coordinates so that we can actually have the um, the actual uh, 3D printer head follow a specific line, a specific instruction, and um, we're going to be talking about it now. All right, so point A, which is in our front view or in our vertical plane, as seen down below over here, point A is um, given an OX and an OY coordinate. All right. It also has an OZ coordinate, but that is seen in a different view. So if we look at my OX coordinate, it would be the distance away from O, the center of the um, where the axes actually um, collide, um, away from it on the OX axis. The OY would then be from O to the OY side of things, and obviously then the OZ according to where the OZ is going to be. So if there is, a, a, for example, A has been given a, a, a coordinate of 50, 40, and 15, then you must know that you've got the OX first, a Y second, and OZ third. Right, so therefore, 50 would be my OX axis, 40 would be my OY axis, and 15 would be on my OZ axis. Now you could either have it from this side over here, or you could have it from this side over here. We know that this distance away from the X or the OX axis would be the same as from the OY axis because of this 45 degree line over here. Okay, so now that we've spoken about number one, I want to refer to A in block number four. You'll notice that A is a small A and it is directly on the vertical plane. It's also A1, as seen over here, A1, representing the actual point A on the horizontal plane. And therefore we also have A2, representing the actual A on the side vertical plane, which in this case would obviously be our left side view if we are talking first angle orthographic terms. All right, so we have A, A1, and A2, A, a1 and A2. Uh, the suspended point A in mid-air over here is uh, represented. Okay, so let's move on to the second quadrant. Second quadrant says to us, well, what if we had an extra point? R remember in quadrant number one, we only had A, A1 and A2. That would explain that we'd have a B that's going to be suspended in mid-air here as well. So if I added a point B, I'd simply orthographically project it. So I'll go find point B down below, and my call it my top view, or my horizontal plane, and then I would be projecting it around my 45 degree line, and then across from my front view to find B2 as well. So I have a B, B1, and B2 representing the actual suspended point B in my uh, um, planes model. Alright, so if I go into point 3, or quadrant 3, here I've added yet another point, point C. Point C, C1, and C2. Please note, every time that um, I've explained a quadrant, I've added an extra coordinate. Okay, so just like I have C, C1, and C2, which would also then represent another suspended point in mid-air, that obviously be representations of the suspended point on these different planes. 
note I've added extra coordinates. All right, so these are the basic or the basics of um, a descriptive geometry. We need to understand that each one of these points have an A, uh, a B, and a C coordinate, as explained over here, over here, and over here. Once we understand that, we can move on uh, and explain things like true length of a line, uh, maybe the real inclination of a lamina. In this point over here, we have points. When we have points joined to one another, we have lines. And when we have lines joined to one another, we have lamina. All right. Thank you, guys. hope this is of an assistance.